Welcome to your Blackboard orientation. In this video, we will cover the essential items for your course progression and help you become more comfortable using Blackboard. Georgian has moved toward a more modern and mobile-first Blackboard design, specifically to improve accessibility and user experience. It is important to note that courses will vary in their delivery and content. As a result, instructors may utilize different Blackboard tools to measure student success in the completion of the course learning outcomes. Now let's get to know Blackboard. You can access Blackboard directly from the login button or the quick links in My GC Life. After confirming your offer to a Georgian College program, you will have received a confirmation letter or letter of acceptance identifying the login and default password for all student systems. If you no longer have access to your login credentials or simply require assistance logging in, contact the Georgian College IT Service Desk. Once logged into Blackboard, we are greeted by your Georgian Institution page. This content area provides quick access to essential student service outlets and frequently referenced pages, like the student portal. Let's continue. Navigating Blackboard is simple. Use the left navigation pane to access your content areas. Let's take the time now to explore Blackboard in more detail. Each Georgian College student will have a Blackboard profile. You can choose to add and edit this profile as you wish. Your information is confidential and accessed through your secure login. The activity stream displays recent additions that have been added to your registered courses, as well as upcoming events and assessments. This content area is designed to help you stay informed on any updates and action items for your courses. Let's now review the Courses tab. You'll be able to see a full list of the current classes you're enrolled in. You can also choose to use the Tile view. This is simply a more visual way of categorizing your courses. If there are courses that you frequently access or need to focus on, you can choose to favorite this course, which will then show at the top of your course list. While this favorites tool can help you prioritize your courses, we recommend that you access each of your courses regularly to ensure you're not placing yourself at academic risk. If you notice that one of your courses is not listed, please check Banner to ensure you are registered. It can take 24 hours for a course to appear in Blackboard after registering. If you've registered for an Ontario Learn course, please refer to the Ontario Learn website. The registering institution will provide your account details for easy access to your courses. Finally, if your course is locked, your instructor has not yet made the course available to students. Not to worry, simply check for access closer to the start of the term. If the course has already started and you still do not have access, contact your instructor. Now the fun part. Let's click on a class and view its contents. After selecting a class, you'll notice that the main screen shows all announcements related to this course. The announcements are posted by your instructor and help inform students about key course information. Much like the dashboard, we will use the left navigation pane for your course inquiries. Let's get to know the most frequently used course tabs together. We have previously mentioned the Announcements tab and Home screen for courses, though another essential area will be your Course Information tab. This content area will typically show your course syllabus, course outline and learning outcomes, and any required textbooks for your course. Your Faculty Information tab will show you how to contact your instructor and identify their office hours. If posted by your instructor, you can frequently find supporting documents and PowerPoints under the Weekly Learning tab. Instructors are not required to post all class PowerPoints, recorded lectures, or supporting documents. 
For this reason, we highly recommend that students attend their classes. Hard copies of assignments may be provided in class. However, others may be posted to the Assignments tab in Blackboard. Instructors may also enable a Dropbox for students to upload and submit assignments online. For specific details regarding your assignments, speak to your instructor. Much like assignments, instructors may provide tests, quizzes, midterms, and final exams online. The parameters for each assessment may vary and are based on instructor preferences. If you have inquiries regarding your assessments, contact your instructor prior to the assessment date. If you experience issues or errors during your online assessment, contact your instructor immediately. If required for your course and enabled by your instructor, the discussion board feature is an electronic bulletin board available to all students in the course. Students can create posts and reply to other posts. Your discussion board is also accessible from the Tools tab. Finally, how to check your grades. This is a record of your grades for assessments throughout the duration of your course. Notice that there are three sections included under the My Grades tab. Graded provides a list of assessments graded by your instructor. Upcoming provides a list of upcoming assessments for this course. Finally, the Submitted category provides a list of submitted assessments that have not yet been graded by your instructor. Each instructor may set up their My Grades section differently. Some instructors may display all course assessments at once, while others may add assessments as they are released to the class. If you have questions regarding your assessments, contact your instructor. For additional Blackboard assistance, Select Student Help and Support from the Navigation pane. This content area will allow for access to resources that support common student inquiries, problems, and pages when utilizing Blackboard. Now that we have a better understanding of our courses, let's return to the dashboard for final Blackboard tabs and tools. The Organizations tab may not apply to all students, though some academic areas and departments may set up organizations for ease of collaboration and communication between team members and students. We encourage you to check your Blackboard calendar for upcoming assessments. When your instructor has set a due date for a test, an assignment, or submission, the event will auto-populate in your calendar. This calendar will display due dates for all courses you're enrolled in. Choose to display your calendar by day or by month. We can view past and future months by using the arrows at the top of your calendar. In addition, you can choose to view your full calendar's events or simply the due dates for your courses. While we cannot change the due dates and course events in our calendar, these are set up by your instructors. You can add personal items and events. Simply click on the plus icon and select Add Event. Enter a start and end date, followed by a location and event description. If this is a reoccurring event, click Repeat Event and enter your preferred event info. When you're done, click Save. We encourage you to regularly check your course information and Blackboard calendar. These tools are in place to support your success. With just a few areas left, let's continue exploring Blackboard. Next on our dashboard list is the Messages tab. The Messages tab is a communication outlet for you to contact your instructor and classmates. Simply select your class and create your message. Identify who will receive this message, then provide your question or inquiry. When you're done, click Submit. 
While questions are welcomed and encouraged, please allow time for your instructor to reply. In addition, sending multiples of the same message will only delay the response time. We have previously seen how to access and interpret our grades for each individual course. From the main dashboard, you can easily access your grades for any of your courses. Well done everyone, and thanks for watching. This concludes your Blackboard orientation. For more helpful resources like this one, click on the Academics page in MyGC Life.